In this video, we'll find out what happens after this tennis player falls over the net. <laughs> and what happens when this MMA fighter has an accident in the octagon. Sports on TV are played by professional athletes who know exactly what they're doing all the time. Or at least most of the time that's the case anyway, because there are a few rare instances where professional athletes are caught on TV while playing sports. Here are the 10 most embarrassing sports mistakes caught on live TV. This first moment comes from the football team Chelsea's goalkeeper, Kepa Ariz Belaga, who refused to be substituted off the pitch which is something that has never happened before in over 100 years of professional football. The manager was understandably pissed off. Here's his reaction. And it's the boss's word that counts, he's got to go off here. That's not a great sign when you are publicly trying to ignore your manager. Not what you want to see. Shows a lack of authority really from the boss. Well certainly, it betrays the lack of respect from the players, or at least one player. Yeah, it's an extraordinary scene. He almost seems determined to stand his ground to try and be the hero in the penalty shootout to Risa Balaga. But the decision has been taken out of his hands. Three minutes of stoppage time has been indicated, but Maurizio Sarri, with all justification, he can't back is down fuming. Down. He can't back down, he's got to force him to come off. He's made his decision. He's got to stand his ground, so don't let the player win in this situation. Looks like he has, though. If that doesn't undermine you, I don't know what does. And no. Sarri is absolutely incandescent and with every right to be. Well, he's walking away. He might be walking away from the stadium. Is he walking away from the job? John Terry, a former player for the same club, Chelsea, had this to say about him refusing to come off the pitch. The, you've got to come off. He's, he's a, this is a complete lack of respect for the manager. Where does that leave the rest of the Premier League players in, in the future games coming up? Does the players start refusing to come off? Mm. I think, I'm surprised he didn't come on and, and force him to come off. MMA cage fighter Travis Walford actually accidentally shits himself on the canvas of the octagon. His reaction when he stands up is completely overwhelmed and embarrassed. This can be quite common in sports though as your muscles are being strained constantly. This race, similar to the Tour de France, takes hundreds of cyclists and has them riding for hours to the finish line. This cyclist celebrates victory a little bit too early though. The cyclist thinks he's actually won the race, but little does he know that he actually hasn't even reached the finish line yet. To go and Tuchelik is sprinting flat out now to try and keep these Belgians at bay. Oh no. He thinks he's won. No, no, no. no. it's one lap to go. It's one lap of racing to go. No, he hasn't heard it. It's one lap of racing to go. And he thinks he's won the world. Vitali is a YouTuber known for streaking many events like the Football World Cup and other massive events like the Super Bowl. On this occasion, he actually invades the pitch of the World Series and is caught by security after nearly 30 seconds on the pitch. <laughs> This next embarrassing and awkward moment comes from another football goalkeeper in soccer. This time Robin Zentner misplaces the ball and when he goes to pass it, he literally kicks the air. Take a look.
This next MMA fighter has been deemed as a Conor McGregor wannabe. He is cocky and arrogant and also Irish, and while he is cocky and confident that he will win his next fight, Karma catches up with him. This is my country. Don't forget that. She blocked me? <laughs> In the Conor McGregor comparisons, we've spoken about that before already. Please welcome James, the Stravanimal Gallagher. Mardi Fish is a professional tennis player and was returning a shot when he accidentally falls over the tennis net and actually needs help from his opponent to recover and serve the next shot. Scenes. Gary Lineker is a legendary football soccer player, but during the World Cup in 1990 he makes a fatal mistake he will never ever live down. In the 1990 World Cup, Gary accidentally shits himself on the pitch. Luckily, he's always been a good sport about it since. I was not very well, I was poorly at half time, um, I carried on, I, there was a ball went down the left hand side, I actually did try to tackle someone stretched, relax myself. I was very fortunate it rained that night, so I could do something about it, but it was messy. It just happened. It's true, it was, it was the only game of the 1990 World Cup against the Republic of Ireland. This professional martial arts referee loses his mind and starts fighting the two fighters after they refuse to stop fighting each other and actually hit the referee. The referee shows some serious skill as well, but was of course fired after this outburst. <laughs> Bob sledding is an extreme racing sport. You've probably seen it all over the Olympics as it's one of the most watched events. This British professional bobsledder suit rips right in front of the camera, exposing her underwear for thousands of people to see on the TV. It was okay, it was completely fine. When he says pumping, he's talking about pumping the brakes, so he's had some brake issue yeah, down there. Right. This is a right. Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport entry driven oh, by Scott Pye. I saw the glass at the end. That is a massive accident. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what list I can, should make in the future and subscribe if you're new around here. Goodbye.